What's going on, everybody? So we got back from our cool week at uh, Texas Toast Guitars, building guitars. We built seven guitars in five days. You saw part one uh, of this, and you probably saw the reveal on Friday on my channel as well as on Matt's channel, uh, Texas Toast Guitars. Uh, for those of you that are new to this, this is a workshop that you can go to. Uh, we actually scheduled one for next month in March already, and we also have a couple more coming up this year. Um, so I'm going to take you through the first, we already saw the first, I'll leave a link to that right up here in one of these gray boxes. The remaining parts of this were kind of small tedious things that all added up to a few days worth of work, but the bottom line is we went from a block of wood to a fully functioning guitar in five days a really nice guitar. And so uh, let's take you through now some of these other things that we did. So the first thing after all of the cutting, basically the bandsaw and all of the pin router work was sanding the bodies to prep them for sealer. And then we needed to pour fill them and seal them with UV pore filler and seal. We'll go stand in the sun and see if it gets warm. Yeah, let's. Not. What are you? What are you doing? Uh, we are pore filling with UV pore filler. Why? Because we like it. Um, <laughs> so, so you put this on, you mash it into the wood, and it stops the sealer coats or whatever other coats you put on from soaking into the wood. So it's going to give us a flatter, nicer finish without... Yeah, a lot faster than having to put on multiple coats of sealer. We'll only have to put on like three coats, and, and then, then it'll be completely ready for paint. Cool. And that'll happen in about two hours. So you got sleeves, so really all you need is... Okay, well, so what we're doing now is we're getting all of our fret wire bent to match the radius of our fret boards, and then we are uh, cutting all of the wire to size, and then we will be undercutting our fret tangs to work with the blind fret slots, and then we'll be gluing them in and pressing them down, and everything is going to be like $100 million dollars if we take our time and do it right. And now pickup winding. Um, for some reason, and this was a very important part of this entire week, I somehow only got one clip of pickup winding, but every person who built a guitar this week wound their own pickups. We all wound P90s, it was really cool. Uh, six different guys learned how to do it um, that have never really done it before. And so uh, there was one guy, I think, that had so, some previous experience, like three or four pickups or something, uh, but nobody had really done it. So it was really, really cool. Um, and it's part of every one of the workshops that I'm involved with at Texas Toast. So if you sign up for one that I'm involved with, you will learn how to wind pickups at the same time. So you will have literally a turnkey guitar from end to end that you did everything with. Pretty neat. Then the next thing is uh, getting all the wiring mocked up. So the bodies are all in paint at this point. And so while the bodies are in paint, we're making up little cardboard templates. Uh, some of the guys are, meanwhile, in the shop prepping their bodies for paint. The other thing we're doing is we are oiling up fretboards. Uh, they're using one of Steve at Maximum Guitars oils. 
uh, to give you a really nice finish on all of these necks. And then Matt, Chris, is going to paint a guitar. Yeah, so we sand these guitars with 320, and then uh, scotch paint them and wipe them with naphtha to get rid of greasy, grimy fingerprints, although this guitar only has my greasy, grimy, and Chris's greasy, grimy fingerprints on it. And then tack rag any linty stuff. Now, Chris, when you paint this guitar, I want you to approach it with the appropriate amount of aggression. Yeah, let me know what I'm doing wrong. Okay. I spray that, uh, was, what was the word? Uh, wimpy? Yeah, that you spray wimpy. I spray wimpy. Wimpy. Spray, okay. yeah. So whatever, whatever we need to do to man up. Man Chris up while he sprays. Yeah, that so seems like a good idea. Approach this with the, the appropriate amount of aggression. just leaned right in. There was no second guessing. There was no wimpy. actually paints all seven of them. I think that you, you have an option if you bring a mask to help paint your guitar. And I think one of the other uh, fellas did that. Uh, but these are all of the guitars sitting in the paint booth with their 73 finishes waiting. Uh, well, they're drying. They seem wider than they actually are. So um, what I want you guys to do is just um, run the nut on one side on this sandpaper and then flip it over to the other side. Then I want you to flip it 90 degrees. Then flip it over to the other side. 
That way, you put pressure in, if you put, if you say put more pressure on the rear left quadrant, then you at least, every, every rear left quadrant gets a little bit, okay? So you can see already, it's already starting to fit. So it's not going to take much, okay? So um, now remember, notice I was going this way. I wasn't going this way, okay? So. Okay, and. Okay, so it's getting even closer now. So it won't take much, okay? So when you do this, you need your neck and you need your nut and you need to just kind of, kind of go for it. And everything will be wonderful. Once you get the nuts, fit we'll get them glued in and then if we need to take 220 uh and go along the side and get everything nice and smooth we can so now basically as you just saw we were instructed uh to do our nuts and so basically everybody's putting the nuts in the bot and the necks and they are uh, getting ready to do the nut slots along at the same time we're doing tuners uh, these were all hip shot tuners Everybody's installing tuners and all the other parts. And as you can see here, then comes kind of the final assembly as the thing just continues to go on. Everybody's putting together parts. Chris and Matt are jumping in there to help uh, wherever possible. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Everything from the pre-done wiring stuff that we did earlier to inst installing bridges to installing pickups. And everybody's basically, if they want, they can do as much as they want or they can do as little as they want in, in all of this. Uh, it's really super cool. Uh, and then here are some clips of the reveal that we did on Friday. So I just pulled this from the live stream that we did. So all six guys, uh, we've got a double cut there. We've got a Newman style guitar, which I'd never actually heard of before. Uh, now this one was a bad fish. This one was a bad fish and this one was a bad fish. So these were all kind of my designs that I brought to this thing. And then of course the pickled jazz master that everybody loved so much, the firebird uh, that I built. So like a non-reverse firebird it was really, really cool. That guitar actually sold during that live stream. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a kind of a feel for what we were able to do in the last uh, five days, last week. And now I'm back in Georgia, we are going through piles and piles of P90 bobbins over there because we have obviously gotten behind because of being gone for a week. So for those of you that are waiting on stuff, uh, that's why. But I think this is a really cool thing. The community around this, uh, we hung out, we made new friends. Uh, now all six of those guys, uh, Matt and Chris and I have made friends with, and those six guys, we've all made friends together and even some other people that stopped by the shop that week. It's just a really, really cool thing. Um, these were all folks that have never done this before. There were no repeat customers in this one. I think there are now though. I think they are hooked. And so if this is something that you want to try, uh, get in touch with, I'll leave a link to how you can sign up to the available workshops at Texas Toast. If you can't do that, um, then maybe you want to buy one of their guitars. You want to order some of our pickups or, uh, you can come hang out with us and our monthly Patreon hangouts too, which are really cool uh, because we'll be able to talk about whatever, you know, guitar techie stuff that you might be interested in as well. I just think it's a really neat thing. I think it cannot be understated that you go from a block of wood to a really nice heirloom guitar that you will be proud of for the rest of your life. The thing about it in, in one week, in five days. And what I think about is really neat too is that Matt and Chris have created this thing where they really don't want you to fail. So it's constructed in a way that you will leave with a guitar. That's cool. That works. And as much patience and time as you want to put into it within that five days, you can determine how awesome that guitar is and how perfect it is because it can be perfect in five days. It's really cool. Or, you know, within your abilities anyway. And they really help you. Uh, to do that. So it's something that I think is really neat. I'll leave a link to where you can find the, all of them. And uh, I'll leave a link to where you can find our pickups and their stuff as well, if it's something that you aren't able to do yourself. But super cool. Thanks for hanging out with me on this journey. And we will see you later this week for our Just Gonna Say It podcast on Tuesday. 
as well as our live stream on Thursday. Thanks for hanging out.